Hey y'all, welcome back again. Um, second part that I'm going to be covering with MT4 and some issues that are pretty common that people are getting and that I get hit up for questions on a lot is that their MP MT4 over time tends to slow down and bog down. So what we're going to look at is two of the things you can do to correct that and hopefully fix it so it gets back up to speed and it's running nice and smooth for you again. Um, just a warning on this one, if you have any questions on how to do this before you do it, hit me up because you are going to be deleting a couple f folders inside your MT4 directory. So I don't want you to jump in there and f just go deleting crap if you're not sure. But uh, slowing down is basically, it's caused by one of two things. Indicators sometimes don't know how far to look back on a chart. There's some indicators that you can tell them only look back like 100 bars. But there's some that every time the chart loads up, they're going to look back as far as they possibly can, and that will cause it to slow down. Um, the other thing is in options under charts, if you go to tools, and then options, and then charts, you'll see down here it has max bars in history, max bars in chart. We're going to take a look at those after we're done cleaning up the directory first. And we'll show you what to do there to get things running nice and fast for you. So the first thing you're going to do, like before, you're going to find on your desktop where your MT4 shortcut is. You're going to right click it. You're going to go to properties. Now once it's on properties, again, we're going to make sure we're on the shortcut tab. On the shortcut tab on Windows 8, 7, and Vista, we should see an open file location button. And if you're on Windows XP, if I'm wrong, don't shoot me, but I believe it's find target or open target. I'm going to click that. That's going to open up our MT4 directory. From there, what you're going to look for is the folder that says History. You're going to double-click the History folder. Now, we do not, and I repeat, we do not want to delete everything from this folder. If you look at mine, I'm using Trader's Way. I have two folders that are named Trader's Way Live, Trader's Way Demo. If you are having issues with the system slowing down, MT4 slowing down, those are the two you are going to delete. I have a demo account with Trader's Way and a live account. So if we go in there and look, you can see all these files. They all say .hst. These are all history files. So, so what we want to do then is you will select it, right click, and delete it. And the other one. It says Trader's Way. Now, if you have Owanda, it would say Owanda Demo, Owanda Live, or if you have Alpari, it'd be Alpari Demo, Alpari Live. Now, this is the part that I was talking about. If it doesn't match up and you can't find exactly what you're looking for, you're not sure about it, hit me up, send me a screenshot, I'll tell you which one to delete. <clears throat> now, after you've deleted both of these, just go ahead and simply close this, close this, and you're going to go ahead and open MT4 back up. Once MT4 is open back up, so what you're going to do is go to Tools, and then Options again, just like I showed you before. Make sure you're on the Charts tab. And now down at the bottom, you're going to see two boxes. One's going to be Max Bars in History, and then Max Bars in Chart. If and let me repeat this. If you use any type of indicator that uses monthly data, like for instance... Let me see if I can find one here. I use one here that see it says previous weekly highs, previous daily lows. This one will also show me right here monthly lows, monthly highs are up here. It's just kind of garbled together. But if you do use an indicator that uses monthly highs, monthly lows, or pulls data from the monthly level, the bare minimum you can drop these down to is 10,000. You do not want to go below that, otherwise it will not give you your full monthly data. So if you don't use any type that type of information, what my recommendations are to drop it down to 5,000 and 5,000, and your MT4 will be extremely fast. Now if you do use monthly data, go ahead and drop it down to where I have it. I have it, I believe, at a, a 100,000. You can go down to about 20,000, but you cannot go below 10. The reason being is there has to be 10,000 bars in there to give you your full monthly data. 
Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to select which one's appropriate to you. If you don't care about your monthly data, drop it down to about 5,000 on each one of these. If you do care about your monthly data, you can go as low as 10,000. I do a little bit of back testing, so I keep mine higher. Quick warning, if you do do back testing on it, you don't want to mess with these. Just clear out the history files, deal with it. What I do, I use Trader's Way for a little bit of light back testing, but I do have a wand loaded up with, I think, like uh, six years of history files. So my wand doesn't run super fast, but I don't actually trade from it, so it doesn't matter. But if you do do back testing from your MT4, I'd recommend just downloading another broker or creating a separate install so that way you can still do your back testing have all your back testing data there and then when you're live trading use your optimized one the one that's going to run faster for you so other than that I hope you enjoy the video uh, this is probably the biggest thing I get is MT4 slowing down so hopefully this will fix it up for you get you running if not as usual hit me up on Skype email post in the forums do something get a hold of me you all have a great day and thanks for watching